I'm having more fun in this than I did with the cold than the modern warfare beta for sure. Gonna finna be a problem, bro. Random grenades, love that. Hell yeah, bro. It's just COD 4 all over again. Got my M16 out, you know, 74U's being used. Tons of nades, you know, just the nade spam every day, bro. Yo, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's video, we use the M16 in the Call of Duty Cold War beta. Hope you guys are all having an awesome time during the beta. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I've had way more fun playing this beta than I did playing the Modern Warfare beta last year. We're gonna take a trip down memory lane. We're gonna use the M16. It's a it's a knee slapper. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys don't know, code Foxy is 30% off at gfuel.com right now. So make sure you guys go over to gfuel.com and go use my code make sure you guys can follow me on my twitch we're live over there every single night except on sundays and if you guys do enjoy this video and you guys could leave an early like for me it'd be greatly appreciated and if you're brand new here make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications all that good jazz and without further ado let's go bro all right so we got some m16 nostalgia here we are on it's sunday it's around like three o'clock around like 3 30 or so i love those cod four grenades coming through so i started using the m16 the other day i'm gonna be honest i started using it just because uh I got told to use it first. I'm not gonna lie. Without attachments, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of poop. It's, it's, it kind of sucks mega balls. After getting some attachments unlocked and things like that, not that bad. And from longer range, it's okay. But from medium range, it's normally a one burst. Up close, normally it's a one burst if you hit him in the chest or whatever. Right there, like die. But I can't clamber up. That sucks. There you go. That see and see, that's a two burst right there. Can't get too mad about it to be honest. Cool. Oh, yikes. Yikes. It gives me that nostalgic feeling because I played Black Ops 1 in its prime. And it just, I don't know, it just gives me that little tingly feeling on the inside about Black Ops 1. Especially since this game takes place between Black Ops 1 and 2. Another one. There's two guys. I'm going to be real with you guys, bro. On the map Satellite, this gun is a beam machine. If you can get a spawn trap going on Satellite, bro, it's a GG with this gun. There's a guy that's underneath here. No, no, he's underneath now. Yikes. Man, I, I, the nades in this game are, are just COD 4 nades. Yep, he's done. I feel like I'm camping, so I, sh I, I kind of want to move. Ooh. No shot. No shot! That just happened, bro! Where it literally was up there and then bounced off and then... Dude, I'm, I'm over this. I'm over the COD 4 grenades. It feels like frag times three all over again from COD 4, but it's only like two grenades. It's only... Two grenades. Two grenades now. It's like frags times two. That's what Danger Close does in this game. So like I said, today's Sunday and I've had way better lobbies today and yesterday than I did on Thursday and Friday. I don't know how you guys have felt. Let me know down in the comments if you felt like lobbies have felt a little bit better because obviously there is going to be matchmaking in this and I have felt like I was playing for a million dollars the first two days of the beta. And since then, I haven't really felt that way. I don't know what my highest streak is. I believe it's like a seven. Oh my God. So many, so many people right there. Oh my God. No shot. No, dude. Why are they spawning on both sides? God damn. He was coming around fast, bro. He was ready. All right. So they, they the spawns actually flipped. I'd say my overall feelings about this beta are pretty decent. They're not bad. There's certain things that I really don't like. Like I said in yesterday's video, the elephant in the room is skill-based matchmaking. No one likes skill-based matchmaking. I'm not going to sit here and harp on it like all the other people who are bashing skill-based matchmaking. You know, it's super toxic to continuously talk about it all the time. It feels it's super repetitive and I don't want to come off as bitching about skill-based matchmaking 24-7. I'd rather like bitch about multiple things than just bitch about one thing, you know? For me personally, one of the things that I would love to see is um, a, a little bit... Mm, Oh my, oh my god, 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 there's so many people right there. Yeah. Something I would really like to see. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, thank god. I think that sliding is decent, but definitely needs some type of a nerf or something like that. Like, it's too much. In my opinion, I think the headshot multiplier is way too much as well. Right, we're gonna stay inside because of an enemy artillery. 
Glad the M16 is so good. That one bird is that kid. Take the headshot multiplier, the sliding, the net code and hit detection is really off. It's it's bad actually. I, I haven't been able to. Ah, yeah, I, I missed those shots. Boo, you stink! The net code is bad. Like, there's no doubt that the net code is bad. I feel like they should definitely nerf the 821 or the 821, the SMG. The thing is just insane. I'm getting three shot from across the map by it, pretty much. See here. Come on, pull up. Here you are. I just got killed by a muff. Ah, dog. I feel like the movement could still use a little bit of adjusting. I feel like the movement in this game is still a little clunky. It, it's better than the alpha, but I just, I don't know, man. I just still get this feeling that it's, it's still, I don't know. Maybe it's because it feels more like a traditional Call of Duty game than what Modern Warfare feels like. To be honest, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I really enjoy Modern Warfare's movement way more just because it just feels smooth. It feels fluid. It doesn't feel super clunky. I don't feel like I'm having a difficult time moving. I always always feel that way in Treyarch game. Even BO4, I felt like I was always, I felt like I was always struggling to have better movement. But I will say that today, lobbies feel 100% better like, i'm actually doing well i'm multiple games in a row it's not like i go and i play really well in one game get 25 kills and like two deaths or 25 kills and three deaths or like go like 30 and 7 one game and then like the next five or six games i'm going like 20 and 20 the head glitches on this map are just insane they're nuts and the fact that you can't shoot through the tin or like the whatever the hell this this is called the aircraft or whatever is just nuts in my opinion you need to be able to shoot through those in order to get some type of advantage or whatever or at least like get people from behind cover on this map it's it's really bad damn bro i didn't even see him the first time he shot me you suck camera angles on this game are atrocious as well i will say that it's, it's very similar to modern warfare it's like camera angles and stuff like that it's really bad like some people can see you but you can't see them it's just really bad and then the spawns the spawns on this map are just atrocious I'm start. I'm, I mean, like, like I said, I'm, I'm, and then, and then the spawn. Nice spawn. Nice. Yeah, get turned on. Oh, that, and then I get shot in my back because that's that's just how this game goes. See, I don't mind going up against better players. I have no problem with that, to be honest. I have no problem playing against better players or anything like that, dude. I don't mind playing against really good people. I mean, like, to be honest, I, I want to get better at the game, and honestly, that's why this year I really, really want to get better, like a lot better. Like, what did we do? Did we push their spawn, like, heavy? I just, I don't get the spawns on this map. This map, it, like, it, it doesn't make sense. See, I, I just spawned in front of that dude. I didn't know that, I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> However, I do remember how bad the spawns were in Black Ops 4. Like, we, we would be on firing range, and you would literally have someone spawn right next to you. I'm really hoping they bring out S&D next weekend. I'm pretty sure in the Black Ops 4 beta, they had s and I don't know if they'll do that again this year. I'm, I'm just hoping that they will. I'm getting shot from behind, dude. Like, what the? Why? I'm ready for free for all. That's what we're going to be playing this year. Either that or s and I mean, like, obviously, we'll play, like, the regular modes because... I need to, I want to get like dark matter and stuff like that. Cause I'm going to assume that they will have dark matter in this game. I I'm ready for free for all. Bring all free for all in S and D. There we go. There's a war machine. There we go. There's a chopper. Nah, bro. I see. I, and nah, I won't let this happen, bro. And look, 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 look behind us, look behind us. Oh, there we go. There's a Merciless. That Merciless is what, 10? Bro, so many nades, bro. It feels just like COD 4, I'm going to be honest. It feels just like COD 4. It feels like times three frag, nade spam out the ass. Look at that, 40 kills. I've been playing, like, dude, I'm telling you, the lobbies are so much different now. Hey, man, we came back once I got my chopper. I was pretty much the only one that did something on our team, but, you know, whatever.